What's up, High and Logical? It is currently 2 a.m., March 10th. Today's my birthday today, or I guess tomorrow morning, if you're one of those people that believes that the next day doesn't happen until you wake up. But I know that it was already midnight. I know that the date changed. I know that it's set, whatever. But yeah, it's crazy. It's really crazy to think of how far I've gotten, even just right now, to where it's just... You know, like, I never really expected myself to really be here where I am right now. Like, in a sense, I did, but definitely not in the sense that I was really expecting it to. You know, like, I've had specific set expectations, but then, you know, over the, the course of the last nine months, I haven't really been thinking about the expectations that I really expected myself to be at. You know, I expected myself to be a lot farther, but like I said, I've let go of a lot of those things just because that I just don't really think it was necessary for me to have to constantly be I need to get this I need to be at this place when it's my birthday or when it's Christmas or when it's like anything like that like no like I've, I've given up on that just because it just makes it so much more stressful to have to think about it like that but now that I've set so many different new expectations for myself that are more realistic it's a lot more easier to kind of look at it's a lot more easier to delve into things it's a lot more easier to be able to look at so many different things differently and, you know, like the effort that I've had to put into making sure that I could get to where I am is tremendous. The effort that I've had to do in just in the last nine months alone just to let go of the things that just don't serve me anymore. The negative thinking patterns, the, over, the overthinking about almost anything, thinking that I have control over things when I don't have control over things, or making sure that I'm putting the effort to improve my communication, making sure I'm putting the effort into make more videos, especially when I used to be releasing a video every month, every other month, sometimes every two months, to now where I'm trying to do my best at least to a week and every other week, just because that I just know that I can do this as long as I want to. I know that I can keep doing this whenever I want to. I can do it when I go to school. I can do it even after school. I can keep doing this until the day I die. You know, like that's why I find so much joy in this. You know, like the effort for the amount of energy that I've had to take back is nice. It's nice to think that I don't have to keep brushing things all the time. The effort that I've had to put that I'm not constantly working my ass off 24 seven, burning myself out and then I'm tired and I wonder why, you know, there's just so much that I've really had to do that I just never really would have expected myself to really be here where I am right now. And especially for how much I already noticed the change in myself compared to how I used to be five, 10 years ago, is even more insane just because that I just don't even think that how people who did know who I am a while ago would look at me and be like, who are you? You're not, you're not the Gabe that I definitely know. And I would probably agree with that just because I just don't think that I am either. Going from where I was an anxious kid, not wanting to talk to anybody, being very introverted all the time, being set in my toxic ways being set in my specific expectation maze ways my way that I look at specific things has completely changed this how far that I've come is just pretty much like a straight up achievement for me like being here today right now is a straight up achievement like an Xbox 360 achievement to where it's like I have ex blown my own goddamn head away my own expectations away just to think about how I've been able to handle things now that it's just <laughs> there really no is really is no other way to say it but of how it's just crazy to me because it just puts like this like weird haze I would say or a fog but it's not like a haze or a fog that I can't see through it's just a weird different area that I really am at right now to where it's just like <laughs> I, I'm like laughing at the aspect of just thinking about it, you know, because I just don't want to say that it's it's crazy again. <laughs> but I'm really happy with myself. I'm really proud of myself for how far I've been able to come, how f many different things that I've been able to change. My bad habits, like I was talking about, my negative thinking, my overthinking being able to actually break specific bad habits that I needed to to where I was smoking for cigarettes for like three years, I think. Like, yeah, I'm still vaping a little bit, but I mean, I'm trying to get 
past that so I can eliminate that once and for all, you know, and how I'm able to communicate a lot more properly and just be open for people, you know, be open for myself, be able to feel okay with being me, you know, like that's, it's a really gratifying thing to feel. It's a really blessed thing to have to think about that I have because I definitely would not have had this if I didn't put in any of this work or effort, you know, and it definitely is not for anything. It definitely wasn't for anything. It definitely wasn't for nothing. And it just excites me even more just to kind of think about how far that I'm going to be able to go with this. You know, like some people tell me that I think a lot differently than how other people would think. I think about some of the things that some people wouldn't even be thinking about until they're later on in their life, that it just makes me seem a lot more open-minded than when, how I was when I first started this, you know, like I was still super open-minded about pretty much anything, even when I first started this, but now it's just even come to the point to where it's just like, there's just so much more that I'm so more openly conscious about when it comes to myself, when it comes to other people, for the things that I want to talk about, for the things that I believe in, for the things that I see morally right for myself and for other people, that I just couldn't be even more grateful for how it was. You know, to think about how I have been able to evolve YouTube alone, to how I've been able to pretty much just evolve mentally, physically, to be able just to think that I know that it's going to be a great day <laughs> every day and not have to think that something is going to fuck that up because most of the time, majority of the time, it really doesn't. The only thing that ever really pisses me off nowadays is just when people are really just trying to step into a step in close to me to think that they have any right to say specific things or if they just want to keep like mouth breathing a bunch of crap. Like half the time, I'm just like they're like talking in my ear and I'm not even paying attention half the time just because I just don't want that for myself. Like, that's the effort that I've also been trying to make sure to is to be a little bit more assertive for the things that I want, for the, be more assertive for the things that I definitely don't want to be having in my vicinity all the time just because it, some of those things are just not worth it to me anymore just to have to keep around. Like, that's why I try so hard just to be a good shining light for people, you know, just because it's like half the time I just hate how people are so negative all the time. I hate how people are so unwillingly just not trying to be better for themselves even though they know that it is something that they shouldn't be putting so much effort into or putting so much energy into or just not having to think that they need to be so negative all the time. And, you know, like that's still one of the biggest reasons why I still do this and why it's been one of my big go-getter things of why it keeps driving me to do this. It's just because like, that's why I want to make help, make a difference, help people. It's just because of that reason, because I want to see people be able to actually look at things a lot more brighter than to think, than to have to think that it's so much more darker when it's not, you know, we have so much time in our lives. We really do. People think that it's just a constant game of just having to, you know, spend your days away, find something to keep you occupied the entire day you know, when people aren't really living their lives anymore to where we're so sucked into a physical world that we can't even think about everything else that's like outside of our own little world, you know? And for how much that we are not thinking more individually when we are constantly thinking more group collectively. And it's not a bad thing to be thinking group collectively. It's just that most people are not really thinking about what they want for themselves, for how they want to go about things for what they want to see in the world, what they want to make an impact for, what they want to make a difference to, you know, like that's the th main emphasis that I try to do on this all the time just because like, that's why I tell you, you can go do anything you want and there's nothing that can stop you. Like there are set limitations, you know, like obviously I'm not one of those people that just thinks that you can just go do whatever the heck you want to do and there's no consequence, even if it's good or bad. Like, no, obviously there are certain limitations that I don't want to be see people do. I don't want to have to think that I need to be the one responsible for influencing someone to do something bad, you know? And I don't really ever expect it to have to happen that way. I don't really ever expect it to ever turn out that way just because that I'm pretty set, straightforward about it, I wanna say. I mean, I could probably could be a little bit more, you know, but I just don't want it, I just don't wanna see that. Like, cause there's already so much of certain things that I hate when it comes to, 
you know, mouth breathing. I have to constantly think that people need to just like spat a bunch of bunch of shit that just doesn't really matter. To be constantly hating on people all the time. To constantly think that people can't go do the things that they want to do. That people, just because that some people are doing it another way and another way that they were expecting it to doesn't mean that it's not going to work out for them. You know, because that's why it's our life. That's why it's we can do whatever the heck we want to do. It's because what we decide to do. That's the main thing that people really need to take into consideration all the time. It's about what you decide to do for yourself, no matter what the heck it is, because you can literally go do anything you want to, and it doesn't matter. You know, like, there are so many different things that obviously do matter about how you do things, about how you go about things, about what you're going to spend your time on, what you spend your money on, or what you're constantly keeping yourself complacent in. But that's really the whole point is just because that you learn from your, your last, you like, you learn from your failures. Like they're not failures because you're learning from them. So like you obviously learn from them. So you don't do that again. You know, like there's so many different things that you can really take into consideration for that of however you really want to. But then it's pretty much just having to make sure that you can just keep excelling, that you can just keep progressing and at a way better way than you were really ever expecting yourself to be. You know, like, that's why I know that in some way I know that I'm helping people, even if it is just very bare minimal, and that's okay. Just because that as long as I help somebody, then I know that they're going to help somebody else do that too. And, like, that's kind of the chain effect that I'm trying to make sure that I can break off to people. Like, yeah, I know that there's a point of time to where I know I'm going to be reaching a lot more people than really what I'm reaching now. And I know that it just really takes more time, consideration, takes more effort, and it takes more things that I have to be a little bit more open about. But it's like I'm already so open about everything anyway that I don't really think that it's really a problem because I know that nothing can really stop me except me. And that's the only thing that's ever going to stop you for you doing for whatever the heck you want to do is what you're going to stop yourself from doing if you're going to take that leap, if you're going to take that jump, if you're going to take that risk. Because what's life without taking risks? What's life without actually being able to live it how we want to no matter what our age is? Like just because I'm 25 doesn't mean that anything's that I'm limited. You know, like just because that you're even 45 that you're limited, that you can't go start a new that you can't go start fresh like there is never a thing to where you can't start restart there's never a thing to where just because you are a specific age that you can't do it there's not anything that really requires us to have to think that we need to oblige by specific rules that are set for us because they're not really rules we just put them into rules thinking that they are rules when it just doesn't really matter because we can do it however the heck we want to there's really nothing stopping us except us and like, yeah, there's probably some other things that are stopping us. There could be other things that other people are worried about. There are a lot of things that we fear. But, you know, like, what's the whole point of, like, living in fear the entire time if we can't just ever just think about how much fun we're going to have doing something or how much excite how exciting it's going to be once we actually do it or how much it's actually going to change us because we did it in the first place. Having to understand all these different things is what is driving me just to constantly do better all the time because I know that there's just so much world out there. There's so much world that compared to what's going on in our own little tiny world that it's just, why even bother half the time thinking that we're so limited? Because we're not. It's just all this fear projection that we place upon one another all the time to think that we have to constantly put each other down just because other people are achieving better than we are. You know, like these are just the things that I see. It's not that people are projecting this to me or I'm projecting them to that, like to other people, but it's like I see these things. People think that they are limited. People can't actually put their foot down and do whatever the heck they want to do, even if regardless if it's something super simple or if it's something super major, you know, that being able to be me for once is the most freeing thing that I could ever think about to ever actually happen to me. And I'm grateful to be able to be able to find myself again in that sense to where it's a lot more clear to me. And even, like, clearer than what it was before, you know, when I did another late night video topic on this, too, to where it's just a blessing to be able to be how we want to be able to be. It's a blessing to be able to think that we can just be open about anything regardless of the consequences. You know, like, there are, like I said, specific set limitations that should and should be done and should not be done. So make sure you use your discernment on that. But, Yeah. It's just nuts to think that I can literally be as me as I want to, that I can achieve anything that I want to, regardless of where I am, who I am, what my age is, what I want to go pursue, or anything like that. That the amount that I've already changed through, the amount of stuff that I still have to fi figure out and make sure that I settle down, 
to make sure that I can ease my mind a lot more and not have to think that I need to constantly question the things that I know that are meant for me to do, the things that I know that are going to just pop up to me regardless or the things that are going to happen, you know, that having to think about all the things that I've really changed through, the, all the things that I've had to let go of are really were for my m most higher good in a sense. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You know, go live your fucking dream, man. Just go be you. Just go do whatever the hell you want to fucking do because it's like, I'm going to keep saying that till the day that I fucking die just because that I need to get it through my head. I need to get it through your head. I need to get it through everybody's head because it's not going to stick if I don't keep telling you that. It's not going to happen if you I don't get on your ass a little bit, you know, but it's free will. You can do whatever the heck you want to do, even if you don't want to do the things that you said that you want to do. Like, that's completely fine. It's your decision. It's your free will. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. Like, there's just so much freedom that we actually have that people think that we don't have. And don't think that you ever have to settle for less. Like, yeah, obviously you don't need to be setting yourself these crazy ass expectations that you just don't know how the heck you're going to achieve them. But if you can figure it out, then you're going to know how the heck you're going to achieve it. You're going to do anything possible to make sure that you get where the heck you want to go, to do the things that you want to do, to be the person you want to be. You're going to do anything just to make sure that you get there. Like, exactly like me. Exactly like me. Just because that people definitely need this. They do. So, without further ado, I think that's it. So, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys have a fantastic night, and I will talk to you guys soon.